How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and unlike ricers and stance cars and other idiots in the car scene that I really do enjoy making fun of, there's no one I find more pleasure making fun of than takeover people and I think there's no one, no group of people that the whole car scene as a whole hasn't rallied behind and hated more than takeover people because takeover people aren't car people, it's just that simple. They're just people that want to do illegal stuff and, and just have fun and any way they can make it more illegal they'll do whether it's like bringing guns into pits and throwing fireworks at people and just all the stupid activities that you would expect people that didn't graduate high school to do they're doing at takeovers and so as a whole the car community doesn't we don't accept them they're not car enthusiasts they're morons just because they're in cars doesn't make them car enthusiasts and if they truly think they are then that really shows how stupid they are anyway so today we're just gonna laugh at them because they're a bunch of losers and they ruined the car scene so uh, we got a lot of clips that you guys sent me and hopefully this video doesn't get demonetized because um, i'm using the clips for educational purposes there's nothing graphic nobody's getting hurt in these clips it's just idiots damaging their vehicles please youtube manual reviewer they're not doing anything dangerous to that extent but in case it does, we have a sponsor. Shout out to Simply Carbon Fiber. Oh, I love Simply Carbon Fiber. When I need a sponsor, they come through. I didn't mean to blind you guys. I just wanted to take a picture because you guys look so cute today. But yes, Simply Carbon Fiber has been a longtime sponsor of my channel, and that's because they get it. They know what car guys want, and they want carbon fiber. Just like their slim carbon fiber wallet, you can fit up to six cards with the money clip on back. And then you also can get other carbon fiber accessories like this carbon fiber phone case right here which still allows you by the way to use mag lock i believe that's what apple calls it but you can use their magnetic features on the back like i have a magnetic pop socket it still works you can charge your phone through it and everything right now simply carbon fiber is having a huge black friday sale so if you guys are looking for a gift for yourself or others this is the perfect gift for them i mean who doesn't like carbon fiber everybody likes carbon fiber so click the link down below for up to 30% off anything carbon fiber from Simply Carbon Fiber. Thank you, Simply Carbon Fiber, for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the morons. All right, let's see what you guys have sent me. First one, we have a Honda Civic front wheel drive and a Kia Optima, definitely stolen, but front wheel drive in a pit at a car convention, right? You know, these are car guys after all. <laughs> all right. Let's take a look at uh, these two hot rods in the pit. <laughs> why, 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 why are you trying to swing front wheel drive cars? Like, is, is this the best you guys could afford at your takeovers? You guys, well, one of them is definitely stolen. We all know the Kia boys out there running amok, but is, is this the best y'all can afford at, at the takeover? You guys, you guys can just afford uh front wheel drive cars now the the fucking stimmies ain't be hitting like they used to i feel bad for the honda driver like just just a smidge you know just a smidge because that is his own probably personal vehicle and he just got smacked by some fucking zero iq no credit score have an ass kia optima stealer like what an idiot what an idiot and they, and they all think it's the coolest thing ever at this point they should just get their stupid stolen vehicles and just ram each other just ram each other just make it a demolition fest at least then it, it'd be the same outcome if they're trying to drift because they usually smack each other anyways but just get to the point just start smacking each other yeah i feel bad for the honda guy kia guy dipped not like it fucking matters you know even if the guy gets your plate it's a stolen car so what's he gonna do with that information not a whole lot like, if you get hit at a takeover and you think you guys are going to pull over and exchange information, it, it's not going to happen. No, <laughs> it's not going to. You're going to exchange these hands. That's all that's going to happen. People are stupid. Well, yeah. All right. Um, These aren't car people, and it sucks labeling them as car people. Yeah, I feel like the general public, like, they see people like this on the news, and they're like, car enthusiasts are bad. And then they see, like, people like me driving around in my Mustang or Super, and they're like, that guy's a criminal. And it's, no i don't associate with these people i don't if you if you're like genuinely a guy that like loves takeovers and you follow me like i i probably wouldn't like you in real life i'm just letting you know right now so it is what it is anyways next clip this one is uh looks like it's at a park and chill that might be turning into a takeover 
Uh, this is why I don't go to Park and Chills no more. I, I like I want to go to get you guys the footage, and maybe I'll go to one this week just to get you guys some cool footage. But I'm not bringing my car. Hell no, because shit like this happens. Okay, why why does no one have a hood on at this fucking car meet? Is this the no hood car meet? No hood there, no hood there. Dude throws it in reverse and hits his homie. Gently, gently love taps his homie. I mean, they're both probably salvage shuttles anyway, but how mad would you be if your homie's trying to show off in his piece of shit salvage title? This is the most nonsense car meet ever, but how mad would you be? You're trying to, sh you're, your homie's trying to show off in his salvage title and he smacks your salvage title? I'd be pretty pissed. This comment also sums it up best. It's always the people with the shitty cars doing this too. And that is just facts right there. That dude was speaking some heat. It's always the people with the shittiest fucking cars making the most goddamn noise. Oh, I bought a, I, I got a straight piped S550. Nobody wants to hear it, dude. Nobody wants to hear it. The little high school teenagers think that they're going to get by recording it and posting it on their story, but nobody wants to hear it. That's why they all run over there. They're all like, oh, this shit's good. This shit's, I'm going to look cool, bro. I'm going to look cool recording this fucking straight piped salvage title car. This shit's not cool, and it doesn't sound good either. Same with the Infinities. It looks like a piece of shit already. Sadly, he turned his homie's car into a piece of shit and smacked it. Ugh, people, people are dumb. People are dumb. It seems like Infinity drivers are the dumbest. Let's see the next one. That one's not so bad. Nothing screams, pick me, girl, like a, <laughs> a girl twerking at a takeover. Ugh. Bruh, what is she doing? That's disgusting. Like, that's... She... That's so gross. What are you shaking? You're not shaking nothing. So this girl actually went on to fall out of a car. <laughs> I think it was a drop-top Camaro she was riding in the back of, and she fell out. Um, I wonder if the clip is here. I couldn't find it. I thought I had it saved, but I couldn't find it. The clip must have got taken down, but uh, I probably wouldn't have shown it anyway because I'm not trying to show people getting hurt in this video. But this is the kind of people that uh, that attend takeovers, you know, just <laughs> the girls that might not make it through high school without getting knocked up. For all we know, she's got two kids at home right now that she's not taking care of. I wouldn't put it past her. I'm just going to say that. I wouldn't put it past her. Even the comments on, on her side, a girl said, this low-key embarrassing as fuck. If you're going to shake it, at least do it right. She ain't got nothing to shake, sweetie. I'm sorry. Like, this would make me stop drifting the, what is that, fucking Tahoe? Yeah, I'd be like, whoa, whoa time to go home. Shit. Crackheads are out there dancing. Shit. All right, uh, moving on. Yeah, I'm going to be mean to people that go to takeovers. I don't give a shit. Uh, cry me a river. Oh, he's being mean. Oh, he's being mean to a girl. Oh, shit, she's at a takeover. I don't give a fuck. Bro macked the G35. Mmm. Mmm, tasty. Mmm. Tasty little kiss right there. Yep, another salvage title, G35. Yep, look at that one. Guys, if you're new to the car scene, there's one car you need to avoid. G35, do not buy it. By now, they're all ran through like this. Probably more ran through than the girl in the last clip. Do, do not buy a G35. You're, you're going you're gonna to have a bad time chasing all the gremlins that are um, hiding on that shit box. God, what an idiot. Dude, sliding through an intersection, a tiny intersection. No traction, obviously, but I mean, like, it's wet out is what I'm trying to say. It's fucking wet out. You can't just swing it with that kind of G-force. Whatever. He's probably on some plastic-ass tire, some Ling Long, some Delentes. Dude's a dumbass. Let's read some comments. People out here doing this, but I get my car impounded for being at a car meet. LAPD is an effing joke, I swear to God. Well, LAPD is impounding cars because of people like this, yeah. It's these people's faults at the end of the day. When I used to go to car meets, hell, two, three years ago, and I would go consistently, we wouldn't have issues because these weren't so prominent. But now, it's bad. I think there's a, a law in certain cities where if you're caught at a takeover with your car, they can permanently seize it. It's certain counties and shit and cities, but yeah, they need, to, they need to really start doing that. But if they label a car meet to take over and I get caught up at some bullshit like that, I'd be pissed. I'd be real pissed. But that's why I don't go to car meets. This one says, curb surfing gone wrong. Oh, yep. Another car to always avoid. 350s. 370s might be okay. Those typically are out of their price points, but a 350, don't touch it. Don't touch a 350. You see it on Facebook Marketplace for $3,000. Don't 
touch it. I know it's appealing, but don't do it because it's gonna be some piece of shit like this. Watch. Is, is he gonna keep trying to swing it? No, he's not. Yeah, you can not after that, dude. You got you got the infinite camber mod right there. Positive camber, all the camber in the world. Just go. You know what? Swing it the other way. Hit the other side. Balance it out, and then you'll just have two positive camber wheels. The wheel did kind of pop back in, so depending on how far this boy's got to go, I mean, he can maybe make it there, but it looked like he already had a smashed windshield, so he'd already smacked one dude. So, at this point, leave the car there. It looks like he already hit someone. Look at the windshield. That shit is smacked. It's dented all up on the roof. He definitely clobbered somebody. So, this guy's, this guy's just a certified bad driver. Not only does he hit curbs, he hits people, too. Ain't nobody safe. Like, do these guys have jobs, or, or do they just do this all the time? Like, do they just, like, wait until their mom gets home with, like fucking bag of chips and then just leave the house and do some dumbass hood rat activity like this because this dude's not going to work the next day i'll tell you what not not in this piece of shit god look at that oh as a car enthusiast that hurts me it being a non-car enthusiast cars i'm happy this happened one less idiot out on the road all right next clip well this is new this isn't a takeover this is just an idiot in the parking lot but uh let's see what this guy what did, what did he think was gonna happen what, 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 did, he, what did he fucking think yeah, it's gonna hit his fucking car. yeah that's a good I, that's a good uh, observation he tied a cart to the back of his like 5 series BMW. Swing in it. Oh god, that sounded so violent. That smacked the shit out of his door. Oh. I wish they had like a before and after, but that legitimately probably destroyed the side of his car. Like the, the amount of force that that was carrying, that's not no no, no door ding. That's some serious that's a serious smack another idiot in a, in a car i don't know whose bright idea it was to, to do that though like it, I, I can't even think of what he thought was going to happen oh am i going to fling the cart across the parking lot no like what did you think was going to happen it's just going to magically stop what an idiot what an idiot all right we got a couple more to look at a couple more idiots um let's take a look at this definitely stolen cadillac because i don't think anyone would do this if this was genuinely their car Sounds good, until it doesn't. God, whole car destroyed. That A simple tire pop destroys the whole side of the car. That's why I don't really do burnouts. I don't want to risk it. Like, I know you got to be real. Dude, the whole side of the car, the window molding and everything destroyed. What I was saying, though, is, yeah, I know you got to be, like, sitting on it for a second, but I just don't want to risk it. I mean, like, I don't think burnouts are too cool. Like, I will do one here and there, but... I, I typically don't. My tires are too expensive. I don't I don't want to destroy them. I'd rather save my tires for some idiot on the highway than doing a burnout or a donut, but it is what it is. Yes. Look at I just want to look at the damage when we get up close. Nice cameraman though. Look at that. Nice steady arm. Good cameraman. He's got a job lined up for him. Dude. It looks like fucking Hulk smashed this shit. That is crazy. The amount of damage a tire can cause. Crazy. Looks like his wheel broke too. Look at that, the force. I'm surprised airbags didn't deploy. Seriously surprised. If this is his car, good for him. Good for him on destroying it. I'm happy he destroyed it, but it's probably not. He, he, I mean, these unemployed foods, they can't afford this shit. Let's be real here. They're, they're not affording no fucking ATSV or CTSV. Not happening. Dumbass. All right, we got one more. Pro Drifter! It's a clean 350Z2. What did he smack? The one spot there's a guardrail? Oh, and he destroyed his radiator. Dude, it's a clean 350Z2. Like, if you saw this one on Facebook Marketplace before this accident, right there, like, let's say $10,000 car. Now it's a $3,000 car. No, I wouldn't touch it. God, destroyed the guardrail. And then, uh, it, like I said, it looks like there's some liquid going down the street yeah that don't look good don't look good at all he's already uh, he's driving around on tires that have fucking wire on it never mind this car might be more of a piece of shit than i thought there were a couple sparks as he was leaving and i don't think it was his exhaust dragon watch his left wheel right here spark 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 yeah all these cars that do this shit are just literal pieces of fucking shit like just they, they just the, the book writes itself they're fucking shitty cars they're shitty drivers and they do shitty things like they don't know what the fuck they're doing they're stupid this dude thought he was hot shit not hot shit you're just shit 
you, you're, you're just shit. Anyways, guys, my day was made a lot better by taking a look at those idiots. And if it made your day a little bit better, <laughs> let me know down below. Sit, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Go shop some Simply Carbon Fiber now. You guys are seriously missing out if you're not. Click the link down below. Take advantage of their Black Friday sale. Anyways, subscribe, send me more clips like this. And until next video, 